What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning back into the Hook 937 YouTube channel. Uh, today what we're doing on the GTO is measuring our fuel system for a cable drive. So I'm going to show you how I'm doing that. Here we got our mechanical pump that we're going to be mounting in the rear. And here we have the front end accessory that we're going to be putting on. Before I wanted to do that, I wanted to make sure that the motor was in here. So I went out and I bought these um, burrs for aluminum and modified the engine bracket just a little bit you can see the stud of this is poked out about half inch back i gave a little bit more clearance to the rear end so i left that off so i can show you guys go ahead and buzz that down and we'll take this out of the way um, and get to routing this stuff here so that I'll show you how I'm going to use this to measure for our cable drive and um, just see uh, get under the car and see where we want to put this so I'm gonna go ahead and get this engine hoist out of the way and then we'll get started so before I get into <clears throat> doing measuring the for the cable for the fuel pump I wanted to make sure that the cable routing clears all of my exhaust and everything like that. Also, where I moved the engine forward half an inch, um, you've seen that we modified the engine mounts. However, I was worried, is the hot side going to fit? Is the cold side going to fit? So I went ahead, put the hot side on the car. Um, exhaust fits, actually comes out fine. Uh, crossover pipe fits fine. Both manifolds fit fine. We're not hitting the steering shaft. Lined up with the cold side here fine. Uh, we don't have the cold side here on this side, but listen, I'm not worried about it. If all that stuff fit and that doesn't for some reason, then that's what I'll modify. So now that all the stuff's in here and we know um, what we're working with down there, we're going to run our hose for the routing for the cable drive for the fuel pump. Uh, show you guys how I'm going to do this. Basically, I was watching a video on YouTube by Aeromotive. And they took a hose like this. They took a smaller hose. This is just what I could find today. And they basically, what they did was, I'm looking for my bracket. Um, they put it like on this and they routed the hose from one end to the other as if the hose was the cable, right? And you can't have more than a six inch radius bend and they want it to be straight for the first about foot coming off of uh, the pump. So, use the hose, run it, route it exactly how you want it. When you're done, measure the hose. That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna get up under the car and that's what we're gonna get start tackling right now. And I'll take you guys down there with me. All right, so we're under the car and it's almost so easy well it looks like it's going to be so easy that it's it should be against the law so i'm gonna turn my little headlight on we got i just used a little piece of clear because it's bigger than that to hold the black so we got it going here small little band nothing crazy right so that's not a very sharp radius I just got it resting on this bolt right here, but that's not a very sharp radius and it gets us That's a pretty good shot to the back of the pump Clears the motor mount That's less than a six inch radius for sure. I wouldn't even have to measure that and then so I'll grab a couple of zip ties here and try to set this up, but we're gonna route it back here through this right and my pump is gonna mount in this high spot right here and this looks like this will be able to go straight into it without too much of an issue at all so i'm gonna grab a couple zip ties so that i could tie this up uh ish like for mock-up make it look right and then we'll throw that pump up here we'll just hold it up there and see kind of what we're dealing with so go grab a couple zip ties and i'll be back we got our hose routed complete length 
I went further than I initially thought I was going to go, but that's fine. Because I'm really happy with how it came out. So, I'll show you guys. I'll turn my little headlight on. As you've seen, almost a straight shot to the back of that pump. Very little bend. Nothing to worry about at all. It's still pretty straight all the way back. And initially I was going to mount the pump here, but I was having a hard time figuring out how to do that uh, without bending this line too hard. And kind of, it's so big now with all the bracketry that I was having a hard time figuring out where it would fit. And anyways, so I went ahead, I said small curve here, not a big deal. And then from there, see the hose here, it's almost straight. Just coming up, coming up, coming up. And then here, it's like a straight shot down the hoses how the cable will be so here's the pump with all the bracketry this is where the fuel tanks gonna go so that's another reason I like it back here we're super high so I don't have to worry about the pump being close to the ground it allows the cable to be straight look at that did it one-handed I could build a little bracket here Hold the pump right there. Our hose is really straight, really close to where the fuel tank's gonna be. Tucked up nice and high. Don't have to worry about uh, dragging the road or anything happening there. Oh man, and it's a straight shot. Well, I hope the footage underneath the car came out all right, because it's kind of hard to do that one-handed and hold a camera. I need to get the GoPro thing that goes to my head, because we're gonna be doing more stuff under the car. Here in the future, and uh so anyway, i just hope it comes out good so anyways as you've seen the hose was pretty incredibly straight i was actually surprised with how straight of a shot i could get and how far back i could get the pump initially i thought we were going to put the pump in about this area and the cable would have been about eight feet long so when we ran back to here uh, it's gonna the cable's gonna come out longer here's our hose here um but I'm all right with spending a little bit more on a cable and the pump location is better. The cable routing is better. The pump to the tank is better. Um, there'll be less suction and it'll be more push. Uh, it's, it's a much, much better scenario all the way around. So anyways, I marked the cable every 12 inches. So we have at the end here, an extra four and a half inches. So our cable that we need I think it's a three eighths inch cable, so it's no, like this is three quarter inch. So the cable itself will be much smaller. We need 11 foot, four inch cable. So with that being said, that's what we're going to do. The cable is going to take a little while to come in because you got to custom order them. So we're going to order an 11 foot, four inch cable. Um, and hopefully it only takes us you know four to six weeks to get that and when that comes in then we're going to start working on our fuel system that's going to be um that was another huge, that was the absolute biggest issue we had on race week um was the fuel system the clutch was a pretty big issue as you see we got our clutch in the throwing a serpentine belt was a big issue we're fixing our serpentine belt um and the fuel was the largest issue and we're tackling that now so those are kind of the three big things hopefully this works out for us but that's basically where i'm going to be ending off this video so starting on the fuel system that's what this video is measuring for that cable drive we're starting on the fuel system and when the cable comes in we'll uh continue to work on that thanks for tuning in to the hook 937 youtube channel Thank you to everybody who's already subscribed. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. Leave us a comment down below. Leave us a like. Hit the bell so you don't miss any notifications. All the YouTube algorithm stuff. I appreciate you guys tuning in, and I'll catch you all next time.